I'm hereby directing the Department of Defense and Pentagon to immediately begin the process necessary to establish a Space Force as the sixth branch of the armed forces. Make space great again. Uh, the fuck is in my hair? So I was gonna wear the Amaga hat I have uh, for this for this bit for this trender bender, but uh, I don't have the time to get it. And oh, a rushed cool fiend video. Never seen that one before. So we're just gonna we're just gonna take this bundle of of cloth. I'm just gonna wear this on my head for the duration of this video. So you just get my hair all tucked up there, all pretty and nice. Very turban-like. Okay, I'll see if I uh, let's see if I can balance this motherfucker on my head. And hey, babes, welcome back to Trender Bender. Today we're gonna be talking about one thing, and that's we have a space army now. How about that? You've seen the news. There's a lot of shit going on. We got the thing with with North Korea going on. We got we got the, that that summit just happened. We have the whole. The immigrants uh, with their ch their families being t torn apart, but in the midst of all of that, Captain God Emperor Trump decided, you know what we could really use? Space Army. So now he's uh, starting the the Space Force, and it's going to be a new branch of the government, and it's pretty cool. For, for real, why? But on the other hand, if I'm going to be honest, deep inside, I'm like, that's that's kind of cool. He says, effective immediately, they're going to be starting uh, putting this together. Uh, and we're going to have Space Force along with our armed forces. So we can have, like, like guns in space. And, and uh, we, oh, he says we're going to take back the moon. moon. Uh, America's going to t America going to take back the moon. moon. That's good. That's good. He said in his own words that we can't just be ahead of the game for space. We have to have complete domination over space. But, but I guess he's just into space now and that's going to happen. But since this video feels kind of empty with only one story in my Trender Bender and I usually have two, let me just uh, pull some shit out of my ass real fast. I'm sure I can literally just look up news. Uh, just news on the... Uh on Google and it'll give me something. No, nope, it just seems to be basically the child separation stuff and the space stuff and tariffs and <sighs> Trump City. Uh, so another news that's exciting for me is more Fallout 76 news. Not really news, uh, I just became aware that they're using the entire state of West Virginia as the map. Uh, and they're going to be including things like all of uh, the Mothman and other cryptids that uh, are birthed from West Virginian folklore, which is pretty neat. What I find neatest about this is that the Mothman coming from Point Pleasant, which is right across the river from a, a high, Ohio city uh, called Gallipolis, uh, where I actually spent a lot of my uh, life and uh, childhood at. So this is gonna be like pretty close to home for me. And it would just be so cool to be in a Fallout game and just be able to see a, a familiar place right across the river. And that's why it's exciting for me personally. So tell me in the comments below if you have anything similar, uh, and not in just Fallout, just in any video game, something that hits close to home. Or if you have anything about the first part, uh, which this video is made about, about the whole Space Force, which is pretty fucking, it's pretty fucking interesting. <laughs> Alright babes, I'll see you in the next Trender Bender. Thank you for watching, I love you, bye.